All right, before we start the video, I just want to clarify that I cannot vouch for the website that I will be using for the method, so do anything at your own risk. If you can't imagine something happening to your account, I would suggest you to avoid this method. All right, first visit this link. Link will be in the description. Create a new account and then log in. After that, go to the accounts tab and click on add account. And here, you can either paste your account token or just simply log in by scanning the QR code using the Discord app. Now, before I show you how to get your account token, please keep that in mind that account token is a very sensitive thing and you must share it very carefully, otherwise you might end up losing your account. Now, to get your token, visit Discord on browser and log into your account. Press Control shift i and open Inspect Elements. Go to Network tab and then go to any Discord server to refresh the tab. You will see a lot of elements named Science. Click any one of them. Scroll down and find the option named Authorization and copy its value. This value is your token. Now go back to the site and paste your token. You can leave the alias section blank, click on add. Once you're done adding your account, go to online a tab, click on start now. Choose your account. Select which one you would like to display on your profile, put any custom active status if you want to. You can schedule when you would like to go online if you want that and then press create. And there you go, your account will now remain active even if you close the Discord app. Here's a live example that this site actually works. As I have previously mentioned, I cannot vouch for this site. If you apply this method and feel like your account is in danger, just simply change your password that will reset your token. As always, thanks for watching. If the video helps, hit like and feel free to subscribe. See you in the next one.